Hello, welcome to Dawa CIT. In the last video, I told you that how to insert data in database and display in ASP.NET Grid View, right? But today I'm going to talk about how to edit, you know, how to update data in ASP.NET Grid View. Before we start, let's have a look again what is Grid View. Grid View is a rich and versatile control which helps we can retrieve the data from database and display the value of a data source in a tabular format in the front end. In grid view control we can use DML operation like insert, update, delete and one special thing select operation. This select operation is a DDL operation ok. Now today we will talk about update operation. So without wasting a time let's get start. So in today's session, we will move towards the update operation. I mean insert section is completed. Now I will do update section. Okay. Click on index.aspx. Design. Click on edit columns. Select command field. And click on plus symbol. And select edit, update and cancel. And click on add. If you want to display here like button then select button. You know there are three options and you can choose as your according. Okay. You can change the color of the button and font style etc. You know you can change anything as your according. Now right click on arrow and click on properties. And now in data key names type here customer id c i d i mean through this customer id we will edit or update customer's record okay click on events double click on raw editing and type here grid view one dot edit index equal to a dot new edit index semicolon and now copy this function and paste here control plus v semicolon control plus s save open browser and refresh now click on edit see customer id is also selected right but here i don't want customer id to be selected because through customer id we want to edit for that we have to change some of the properties of customer id click on edit columns select customer id you can see here read only is false right now we have to select true option ok now control plus s stop debugging now execute refresh browser click on edit save customer id is not select right now we have to write code on update button stop debugging right click on arrow properties raw updating double click here type here int id equal to convert dot to int 32 grid view 1 dot data keys a dot raw index 
dot value dot to string semicolon enter string name equal to text box grid view 1 dot rows e dot row index dot cells id is start on zero cells after that the cell will increase one by one okay so now increase cell one dot controls zero dot txt text semicolon now copy this control plus c and paste here and change string name and cells add cells increase to Okay. Using SQL connection con equal to new. SQL connection and type here this is string name okay con dot open SQL command CMD equal to new SQL command update customer table set c name equal to single quotation mark double quotation mark plus plus and type this name comma address equal to single quotation mark double quotation mark plus plus a d d comma mob n o equal to single quotation mark double quotation plus plus m o b n o comma email id equal to single quotation mark 
double quotation mark plus plus email where customer ID C I D equal to single quotation mark double quotation mark plus plus ID comma scorn semicolon enter int t equal to cmd dot execute non query if t is greater than 0 response dot write script close script tag alert single quotation mark data has updated semicolon grade view one dot edit index edit index equal to minus one semicolon and call that function okay control plus v paste semicolon now control plus s save index dot aspx now execute i will edit customer name click on edit Rohit Pandey click on update data has updated say customer name has changed right now I will change the name and address of the customer whose ID is 3 ID 3 name is Rohan Sergil and address Bangalore West right now I will add it Deepak Sarma address Bangalore South now click on update see the name and address has changed right if you don't want to edit then you can click on cancel button but right now the cancel button will not work because we haven't code behind the cancel button so let's get coding stop debugging right click on error properties click on event row cancelling edit double click here and type here grid view one dot edit index equal to minus one and gb bind okay now control plus s save execute click on edit
if you don't want to add it you can click on cancel button let's see so cancel button is working right in this way you can edit and update the information of any customer in the asp.net grid view that's all for today i will catch you with another new video till then stay connected with our channel dava cit thank you so much for watching